Because let me tell you about objections. In this exposure of keeping it going, keeping it going, keeping it going, keeping it going, objections are going to show up. They're going to show up. And stop being surprised because it's going to be a handful of the same ones for the next 50 years. They're not going to change. They haven't changed in the last 30. I can't expect that they're going to change much in the next 30. But let me tell you why. I've kind of analyzed why. Why is it? Number one, there comes a time in every presentation when a person goes, you know, a real business person would throw in an objection around now. Maybe I should do that just to sound smart. Seriously. You know, you're presenting and they're going, hmm, hmm. Are you part of the Better Business Bureau? Um, what's your scientific advisory board look like? You know, oh, really? They'll ask all kinds of crazy stuff just to sound smart. Sometimes it's just a reflex. You know, you ever walk into a retail store and you need to find something and you don't know where it is in the store and the person comes up and says, can I help you find something? You lie. No, 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 I'm just looking. The professional understands, they back away and they wait. If you need anything, just let me know. All right, thanks, thanks. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> Three minutes later, they can't find their size. <laughs> Professionals like, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, show me this thing. So they're just reflex. Some people say, hey, would you like an opportunity to make money? Their reflex is, ah, <laughs> money? What are you talking about? I'm good, I'm cool. Sometimes they just need clarity. They're seeking clarity. They're not looking for a fight. They're seeking clarity. They're like, uh, is this one of those things? I had a friend of mine say, is this one of those pyramid? You work, you work with those pyramid things. He saw the look on my face. He says, I don't mean anything negative by it. Because how do you clarify what this is that we do? You say it's network marketing, people say, oh, computers, nice. <laughs> right? It's crazy. So, objections are natural. And let me tell you one thing. Objections are your best friend. Without them, you will not build rapport. Without them, you will not build certainty in the prospect's mind, clarity in their minds, understanding. They won't... The prospect, the, the objection itself helps to educate them. It helps them see a picture. You want them to ask the question. I don't think I have the time. <gasps> I used to be terrified by objections. I used to be just terrified. I hated them so much. I hated them like I hated lima beans. You know what I mean? I still hate lima beans. But person would come up with an objection. I'm just like, oh, I thought I had a good person. <laughs> then they said, I don't have the time. I'm like, Pfft. so you know what I did? I ran away. Some will, some won't. So what next? I'm gone. I don't have the time. I'm going to go find some people who have some time. Bye. I don't have the money. I'm going to go look for people who aren't broke. Bye. I ran away. I bought their story. In every conversation, somebody's buying and somebody's selling. And they sold me that they didn't have the time and I ran away. They sold me that I didn't, they didn't have the money and I ran away. They sold me. It wasn't for them and I ran away. I got sold. So at first I ran away. Second thing I did is I fought everybody. Once I got a little in education, information... People say, you know what? I just don't have the time. Oh, you're taught. You know how many t hours there are in a week? Are you, when are you going to stop wasting time watching television and scrolling, th scrolling on the internet? When are you going to take charge of your life and walk away from all those other distractions and do something for real? I, I would say these words. 
How do you think it worked out? <laughs>